Hi, how is it going? In this session, we are going to learn subject verb agreement. As usual, I'll explain the lesson first, then we will do some exercises. Are you ready? Let's get started. In English, subjects are divided into two forms. They are singular and plural subjects. Singular subjects are such as he, she, it, or singular noun. Singular noun means the noun is not more than one. While plural subjects are such as we, they, you, and plural noun. Plural noun means if the nouns are more than one. For example, car is singular because there is only one car. But cars are plural because there are more than one cars. In English, verbs are also divided into two forms. They are singular and plural form. Verbs in singular forms are such as verb with s or s. To be is for simple present and was for simple past. And also auxiliary has for present perfect. While for the plural verbs are such as verb without s or s. To be a for simple present and were for simple past. And auxiliary have for present perfect. So, in conclusion, if the subject of the sentence is singular, we have to use singular verb too. But if the subject is in the plural form, we have to use plural verb. Let's understand this with examples. The children blank on the swings. A. Are playing. B. Is playing. The subject of this sentence is the children. You have to know that children is plural. So, to answer this, we have to use plural verb too. Then the answer to this question is option A. The playing. What about this sentence? The earth blank round the sun. A. Moves, and B. Move. Well, the subject of the sentence is the earth, and it's singular. So, to answer this we have to use singular verb too. And the answer is option A. Moves. The earth moves round the sun. Mom, blank, address for Sarah. A. Has bought. And B. Have bought. The subject of the sentence is mom, and it is singular, then we have to use singular verb. So, the answer to this is option A. Mom has bought a dress for Sarah. We, blank, our game of tennis. A. Have finished. And B. Has finished. As you see, the subject of the sentence is we and it is plural. So, we have to choose plural verb too. Then the answer is option A. Have finished. Jane, blank, my sister. A. R. B. Is. The subject is Jane, and it is singular, so the answer to this is option B. Is. Bob and Tim, blank, good at English. A. Is. And, B. Are. The subject is Tom and Tim. There are two persons, so it is plural. Then we have to use plural verb too. And the answer is option B. Are. What comes to your mind? Have you understood the lesson? All right, let's try to answer these exercises. Answer the questions first, then, the correct answer will automatically appear after 15 seconds. Exercise 1. Fill in the blanks with verbs that match the subjects. Use the correct form of the simple present tense of the verbs in parentheses. 1. I always blank to school with my brother. Go. Two. Mark always blank to school with his brother. Go. Three. 
3. You blank the answer. No. Four. Luis blank the answer. Two. No. Five. This book blank very few drawings. Have. Six. These books blank lots of beautiful drawings. Have. Seven. And blank my sister. B. Eight. Pat and Alice blank good at English. B. Exercise two. Fill in the blanks with verbs that match the subjects. Use the correct form of the simple present tense of the verbs in parentheses. One. A tiger blank. Roar. Two. All birds blank eggs. Lay. Three. Dad blank listening to music. Like. Four. Uncle Bob blank his car every day. Wash. Five. She blank all the answers. No. Six. They're blank twelve months in a year. B. Seven. The twins often blank. Fight. Eight. Our parents blank us. Love.
That is our discussion of subject and verb agreement. Our next topic of discussion is adverbs. By the way, don't forget to support me by subscribe and like this tutorial if you haven't. Thanks and ta-ta.